everyone, today I'm going to show you how I customize the home screens for both of my iPads. It seems like I finally had enough of these plain screens and that it's time to give more of my energy into it. First thing we're going to do is create my own wallpapers and I'm going to use Procreate for it and also some of my digital stickers. I played with different colors, blending modes and opacity and it turned out something like this. I'm using my iPad mostly for self-care and self-development, so I'm using it for journaling, planning, reading books, drawing and doing other creative things. I also use it for editing videos, editing photos for my brand, so creating different focus modes is something really important for me. So I want to have a separate home screen for each focus mode and I also want to do something interesting with it. I would like to have a different wallpaper for each home screen and it would look something like this. First thing we need to do in order to do this is have separate albums for each wallpaper. Then we need to open shortcuts and create new automation. We tap create personal automation and then we choose the focus mode we want to create this for first. Then we tap add action and our action would be find photos. We tap add filter and then choose our album. Then we tap to play our action and then search for set wallpaper. We turn off show preview and then click next. We should toggle off ask before running for it to run smoothly. Now let's add the widgets and the first one I'm going to show you is this bear widget. This is a countdown widget and I think it could be really useful and Definitely really cute. And I'm also adding the widgets from the app MD Clock. And then I decided to add a shortcut of my journal. I wanted to have it accessible on my home screen at any time and I already made the icons for it, so this is how you can do it. I also wanted to change my icons to look bigger and make the dock look a bit different. And then I'm adding all the necessary apps for my journaling time focus. I also decided to delete a lot of the apps from my dock and rearrange them. One of the widgets that I wanted to add and that I think looks nice is Reminders app. I created a new list called Gratitude where I wrote some of affirmations and that's what I'm going to add to my home screen too. Another widget that I'm adding is from the Stoic app. I really like the quotes and affirmations there. And they also have a few other really interesting things with a very minimalistic look. And I really like how it looks on the screen. I also had to use the app Widgetsmith and add some of my own photos there. 
You can add smaller, medium or larger one and I think it really completes your screen pretty well. Then I added the battery widget, which is really important to me and played with rearranging the widgets a bit so it looks how I really want it to look. <laughs> then I added the smart stack where I actually added another widget from the Stoic app which I found really interesting which is Memento Mori widget. You add your birthday to it and every day it reminds you of your days passing basically by filling in the circle or the moon or whatever icon you choose. And with this we completed our first home screen. Now let's create the working mode home screen. First thing I'm adding is the battery life and then all the icons that I use or all the apps that I use. These are all the apps for drawing, inspiration, editing photos and videos, creating digital products and so on. I'm also adding another bear countdown, which is the countdown for blank journals release. I'm releasing uh, another digital journal for my shop, Indigo Healer. And I wanted to have this countdown and I think I will have different countdowns in the future for all my product releases because I really think it looks so nice and it's a really nice reminder. I also added a photo from my brand ambassador program and also some widgets from the Stoic app and MD Clock app and also this tag here. And another home screen done so quickly. Now I'm adding all the apps that I use for my reading setup. And as you can see, I use the GoodNotes app for each of my setups. I also added the Kindle app, the Books app, playbooks and also the app that I use for comics and graphic novels. I also wanted to add the reminders widget and also the widget smith widget of the big photo of my desk and that's another home screen complete. Now I wanted to change the home screen for my iPad mini. I quickly added all the apps that I'm always using and also added the MD clock widget, the smiley face and the quote from the story cap. I think these two are really making the home screen what I want it to look like. So yeah, that's my cute iPad mini home screen. And that is all. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with me. Let me know what you think of this setup in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And I will see you all very soon. Bye!